Okay guys, so here's the setup. So I just have an electrolytic, um, 600 volt electrolytic um, in the leakage uh, tester here. Um, it, the switch position is set to 5 and the voltage I'm measuring here is 102 volts which is in line with the way the manual says. So I go to position 4 Okay, that only went up to 164, 165. Still climbing slowly. Yeah, and slower and slower and slower. So I go to position 3. So that's just gone to 240 volts, 239. So they're all reading, apart from the first one, they're all reading significantly lower. So I may have to go um, look into all of that. Um, okay, so it's not going up any further. Let's go to position 2. So that went 310. So it's gone to just climbing 315. Well, short of 400, that's for sure. Um, and last but not least, position one. It's up to about 4.30. Uh, so again, well short of the um, of the 500 that it says in the book. But at least I know, even if I don't change anything else, um, I know A, the manual is right. The position 5 is the lowest voltage, and position 1 is the highest, which, as I say, for me is completely uh, counterintuitive. Plus, when you go to position 5, you can't just keep going to go to 0. So you have to come all the way back up to 1. Um, and then uh, go to the capacitor ranges and whatever, and one assumes you get 0 volts then. So if I go to C times 0 0.001... Okay, now we're starting to drain. Okay, and if you go to position R1 or R2, R2 um, drains away. Um, so, manual would seem to be correct. Voltages are not what I was expecting exactly, but at least in opposition position 1 is around 430 volts, so um, it's close. It's close. Uh, well, <laughs> it's not really close, but it's at least I know what the voltage is now on position one so as I say um, when I get into it uh, we'll see about checking all the appropriate uh, resistors and stuff and uh, maybe we can make it better